Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do a March mail call video, except that this time I didn't receive only one thing in the mail, and I knew that that was coming, and I'll talk about that in a second, but the other things were handed to me, and then I also, and then in addition to people giving me things, I had one lady gave me some half square triangles, and then she was also selling some of her fabric yard, so since she was generous enough to give me her half square triangles, I decided that I would spend $20 on some of her fabric scraps. So I will be sharing that with you as well. So let's get started. First thing I wanna talk about is my friend Sue Schaefer at Ma's Got a Notions Quilt Shop in Havana, Illinois. She organized a quilter's cookbook. And she asked me if I would be willing to participate by putting in a recipe and you'd get to talk about one of your quilts. And so I did participate in that. And the book is called Stitching in My Kitchen, Both Feed My Soul by Sue Schaefer. And then she says it's a quilter's recipe book. And then it has the address of her shop here. And I really love the antique feel of her cover. And then this is the back of the book that talks about the name of her shop and some and the address as well here. So you've got the name and the address all there. And her website is mallsgotanotion.com. So I submitted my Dear Jane quilt, and I did not put in my pound cake recipe. That's like a family secret right now. But I did put in the vegetable soup recipe. So it's like a turkey vegetable soup. And I did put in my Dear Jane. So I'm not gonna show you the entire thing because I want you to go buy the book, my portion, in the book it's on page 48 and 49 and if you're interested in the book you can call 309-543-6613 or you can also go to facebook moss got a notion or you can go to moss got a notion.com www.mossgotanotion.com so thank you sue for allowing me to be a part of your book and now i have this box here that is filled. The lady was nice enough to give me a box. So let me show you what she gave me first and then I will show you what I actually purchased. So I went to this Quilt Guild, Peacemakers Quilt Guild in St. Clair, Missouri. I was actually there to do a lecture and she was selling off things and she had various things in this box and most of them had sold. And as soon as she saw me, she says, do you want half square triangles? And I said, of course I want half square triangles. And so I've got plenty of half square triangles and she's even got each bag labeled. So these are all two and one fourth that she, she they were two and one fourth inch squares that she cut in half. And then here's a bag that are all three and one half. So. <laughs> and we've got three and one fourth, just a few of those little oddball sizes. And then three inches are in this bag. One and three fourth inches. These are two inch triangles, two inch squares that were cut in half. These are three and three fourths inch triangles cut in half. These are two inches again more two inches and then on this bag she just says that there are miscellaneous sizes some of them are already pre-sewn then i have a small bag here with two and three fourths inch squares cut in half and i think that is it so let me just hold all of this up to show you how much half square triangles i actually received from her 
in the bag so thank you so much for donating that to me and then the rest of this stuff i actually purchased from her she pre-cuts her own fabrics into usable pieces so, so she has five inch charm packs and you can see how thick they are and this was two dollars i think she says she puts 40 pieces in each one so two dollars for the 40 pieces another 40 pieces that had that was for two dollars another one so i bought quite a few of these because i felt like i could use these as door prizes too so and i have two more looks like so far where i have five inch squares that she's cut and here's the fifth one here so a total of five of those at two dollars so that was ten dollars so she also had 18 strips that are six inches wide or five inches wide let's see if they're five or six so these are five inches wide 18 strips and these were four dollars and you can't really see the fabrics in them they're kind of rolled up in here so four dollars so that's 14. Um, she has some two and a half inch strips. It doesn't say how many is in here. And these were $2 each. So this would be $18 total. So I've got, you can see a little bit of these fabric strips. I hope you can see those and then I also purchased a second one so these are just going to be door prizes so that was 18 and so I got these remaining pieces they were like a quarter 50 cents a piece so one two three Four, five, six, and seven. So out of this, I'll be keeping these fabric pieces because I wanted these. I picked out of all the other stuff. And then the half square triangles that she donated. And then the rest of these are going to be door prizes for my scrap quilting club. Then <laughs> I went to my quilt guild meeting, the Flower Valley quilt guild meeting, and one of the ladies had asked me last month if I like G's Ben's quilts, and I said, yes, of course I do. And she said that she had something that was framed and that she was going to give to me. So I didn't know what she was going to give to me. And she actually came to the meeting and she presented me with this. And I know that the glass is glaring, but these are the official post office stamps of the G's Ben quilt, quilts when they first came out. And it's on the American Treasure side of the United States Postal Service. And they call it G's, Quilts of G's Ben. And these stamps at the time were 39 cents. And they cost $7.80. And I think that these are forever stamps if i'm not mistaken but i could be mistaken i actually purchased the stamps and i do have the set of stamps with this and it's just amazing that somebody had bought the books and then framed them out i had not done that so this is a true keepsake for me and maybe i will now use the other stamps that i have or 10 different designs on the actual quilt so there are repeats on here in the stamp so there's like two of each kind but they actually frame the entire thing which is nice and even got the a uh, hanger information on it as well and i think my i don't know if my friend put this on the back or if the person who made this put this on the back but there's like a sticker back there but pretty cool so i'm looking forward to putting that up somewhere if you watch kevin the quilters quilt studio on tour videos that I did you will know that he gifted me this box this shoe box of scraps 
I have no affiliation with the logo, so I'm not going to say it. But I wanted to share with you what's in this box and we can all see together. I have not gone in the box other than when I fingered up through some of the fabrics in the video. So it'll be interesting to see what's inside. So let me rearrange my items here that I just showed you. We're gonna open the shoe box up and then we're gonna point the camera down. So this is the complete box. As I said, I had not been back in the box since I got this box from Kevin. So I'm just going to take everything out of the box. And then as we put things back in, I will show you what's actually in the box. <laughs> so he's got some very small little pieces. I don't normally keep pieces that small unless I'm like doing crumb piecing and I'm using them right then. A pair of half square triangles. He's got a strip of something. So I'm going to take out what I'm not going to keep as well. And then he's got like some blue that he had from a salvage piece. I'm not going to use that. And he has a piece of fabric that has this design on it. And I'm blocking what it's called now. Blocking the name of this. <laughs> Pickle dish. That's it. Pickle dish. So I will keep that. And then some strips from Patriotics. Some actual fabric pieces of Patriotic. So I will most definitely keep those. But I am going to pull these out because I keep my Patriotic somewhere else. And I am working on some Patriotic blocks right now. More strings. So maybe that's what I'll do is I'll just take all the strings out. Piece of fabric here, a half square triangle. And then we've got more of the smaller pieces. So if Kevin keeps giving me enough of these little small pieces, maybe I will just whip them into a little piece block or something. So we shall see. <laughs> See how I can't get rid of stuff? Because I'm seeing that he has a lot more of this. Most of it is cut in the same width. So lots and lots of that. And then we have another of some half square triangles that... I will put in that pile and then some more strings. So a lot of strings that I can use. And then these little pieces that he has. So I'm going to keep the little pieces separated from the half square triangle pieces. And then all of these I think. So I'm hoping that you can see that probably was out of camera. <laughs> but yeah, let me zoom out too a little bit. Okay, so I have down here anything that's half square triangle based, all those little pieces, and then over here are the actual strings. So more of those little pieces. There we go. More strips of fabric I'll just put in with the strip pieces. So I may not have to put anything back in the box. Don't you just love looking at other people's fabrics? So this is like a folded piece of binding. I will just open it up and put it into the quilt. Some light. I always have difficulty finding some light strings, so that's pretty cool. And I'm going to move this out and just move this stack closer in. So just various things that I can use in my strings and crumbs. So I don't want this video to be super long. So pretty pieces here. Some solid yellow. They're like half square triangles or some kind of triangle. So I will put them in that pile. Now we're getting into a piece that's a little bit bigger. So I'll just put it back in the box. 
Another piece I can just throw into strings and crumbs. Quite a few pieces of that. Some light. pieces. Remember Kevin said that he didn't keep a lot of multicolor prints. So that's cute. I'll make a five inch square out of that. And we've got one with an owl. <laughs> or shall I say owls? <laughs> More sh scrappy stuff here. So lots of scrappy stuff, butterflies and ladybugs, and another piece of floral, some scissors, some sewing theme fabric, more strings that can be patriotic, half square triangles come out some squares piece of black it's plain so I'm gonna get rid of that one but this one has some texture on it so I will keep that one have some other little small pieces of crumbs we got some glitter down here and gold and red that's pretty cool that'll look pretty in a block <laughs> And so just a lot of crumb scraps. I will sew some of it together so that I can say that I have some. And then again, these are the plain whites. I have enough of that already that I'm trying to get rid of. So that's why I'm not keeping those. And then I've got some glitter green here. Two pieces of that. And then some other pieces. So I'm just going to take out the plain whites. And then maybe I will just take this little box and just start sewing these pieces together to make my own little fabric pieces. If you don't know how to do that, go search my video for how to make crumb and mosaic blocks. I have a whole playlist on crumbs and string quilts. This white has some texture in it, so I will keep that. All right, so we have a bag here. Has some blue, red, and yellow pieces. I'll just keep these over in the strings and crumbs. And then we also have some other pieces here going into strings and crumbs. And pretty pieces. Put all of that over there. <laughs> this looked like it was a piece folded in half, but it's pretty wide, like it's an extra quarter of an inch for binding. So I don't know if he was using it for binding or what, but I'll just put it into the strings and crumbs because I won't be using it as binding. I've got a couple of big pieces here. Looks very pretty. That's beautiful. It's just slightly smaller than a fat quarter. So I'll put that in the box. Here's another large piece. It's almost the width of the fabric. And another pretty piece of fabric. I don't know what you call these shapes. I just made some blocks where those kind of shapes were stamped onto fabric. So if you know the what they call these shapings, let me know. And it's not just that animal shape, it's the whole process of it. Like Oddvard or something like that, I'm not sure. Another piece, beautiful. And again, these are the things that Kevin can't put into a color, so he doesn't use it. Most of his quilts are, his, even his string quilts are like color coordinated in a way. So now I am to just this stack here. This here feels like something that came from Ikea. 
I remember they used to sell something like this and it's a little bit thicker so this is pretty cool it'll work good with that coca fabric I got this is a lot let's see um, this is how this fabric is looking but it looks like it's a panel like it's pre-printed fabric on a four yard so that's what it looks like to me on this skew down here it has job ID and order number so I'm not sure if somebody had this made and then didn't use it or if this is how it actually came so I have no idea but we have this same print also in the blue and gray so I'm not going to open that up. It's the exact same thing. Then we got a lot of this fabric. This is different than this. This is like a white background, more open and airy. And then this is a dark background that's like a complimentary print. And it looks like it's pretty much of this. It's yardage. So let's see how much yardage it is. I guess about three yards on this at least three yards and I'll just put this back in here in case I didn't decide to use it as a backing I've got all the pieces um, this has some batting inside so it must have been the backing on a quilt so I will peel this apart at some point and then I will use these fabrics isn't that pretty <laughs> little chickadees and another piece of fabric got triangles pretty some more small pieces don't know if I brought that and now we have another fat quarter it's pretty and different but again it's one of those that he couldn't probably put into a color combination this one is way too many colors but it's beautiful I love it wish I had yardage of this oh that's so pretty make a beautiful scrap border and then I have a piece of this it's pretty big but it's like been chunked out but it's got a, some good pieces I can get out of here. And then we have an animal print. Got elks and bears and raccoons and stuff and things. <laughs> Very pretty. So that is all that is in the box. So this stuff I will just temporarily put back in here because I'll sort it into my scraps. These things here are all going to go into my strings. These were the things that were half square triangles. These pieces I am just going to sew those together. And then this is all that I am actually going to get rid of. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you taking your time to spend with me. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and share with your other quilting friends. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody.